Today we're gonna show you some brand new acquisitions we got out of our quarantine rack. And also we're gonna talk about mites and how to prevent getting them in your collection. All right guys, so sometimes you can get mites on your snakes. It can come from going to a pet expo. It can come from getting them from a new acquisition um, or an import, something like that. But uh, we want to get rid of them if you get them because they can be very detrimental to your snake. Uh, not a lot of people like to talk about it is because it's kind of like a taboo kind of thing. But you got to know how to treat for them because anytime you have a new snake come in, it's potential that it could have it. And rather than waiting for that snake to come in and spread to the rest of your collection, you want to treat them proactively like they do have them even if they don't, so that you don't risk there being a stray mite on there that you can't see and it gets everywhere and you have a thousand of them. So this is what you gotta do. First thing, you wanna always quarantine new animals. That means you have them in a separate rack, in a separate room, and you deal with them on separate days than you do your regular collection so that there's no cross-contamination. Rule number one. Rule number two is if you're coming, like, uh, let's say you go to a, a pet expo or something like that, it's very easy to, if you're handling snakes there or reptiles there, or even just walking around, you can pick up like eggs of the mites and stuff like that on your clothes and your shoes, and bring them back to your collection. So you always wanna make sure that if you do do that, you come home, change your clothes, maybe even take a shower before you go into your collection or wait till the next day before you come in to your room because you don't want to accidentally spread pests or disease. Um, so once you get your new snake in, you set up in quarantine. First, you're going to inspect it and make sure you don't see anything visibly. Then you're going to have a clean bin. And what you're going to do is take, there's two different things you can go about it. One, at least two ways that we do it. Like you, there's a million ways to do it, but these are proven for us. Preventamite. This stuff you want to apply to the bin and the bedding. You can't put it on the animal. You want to apply it outside or well ventilated area. You spray it all over the bin and on the bedding. Make sure that you're getting underneath as well. And you let it dry. Once it's dry, you can put your snake back in. You don't want to put water back in for at least 24 hours. Once that 24 hour period is over, water dish back in and you're good to go. You're gonna to wanna to do this treatment once a week for three or four weeks because you're trying to break up the egg laying and hatching cycle of these things. And this stuff doesn't kill eggs. As far as I know, nothing kills the eggs. So. How long do you have to let it dry? Till it's dry, like an hour, maybe half hour. I don't know, it depends on where you're at. Like if right now it's winter time, it's cold out, it probably takes longer, but you know, just make sure that it's dry. Always use protective gloves also because it is poison. You don't want to get on your skin. Um, another way that you can do it is there's this frontline flea and tick spray. This stuff is actually safe to put on the animal. And what you would do is also treat the bin, but you can spray some of this on your hands and let the animal run through your hands. Don't get it in its mouth or its eyes. And then it's, per this says it's, it works for 30 to 90 days, but I would still do it like the first treatment, two weeks later, a second treatment, just to be safe, because you don't want the possibility of there being eggs somewhere that hatch out and all of a sudden you thought you got rid of your mites and now you're reinfested. So always go longer than you think you need to, just to be safe. And uh, that's pretty much how you take care of mites. If you deal with reptiles long enough, you're probably gonna come across mites, so you gotta learn how to deal with it. Uh, so this is what we do, it works. Uh, you'll probably find other videos out there with other different methods, um, but we're only gonna talk about what we know. And that's that. Hmm. Okay. So we're showing off some of our new acquisitions that we got. Um, we actually did quite a bit of investing this year, so we got a whole bunch of stuff to show you at some point. But uh, here's one of the ones we picked up from Danner Constrictors. This is a female black pastel chocolate trick. Very beautiful animal. Super dark, 
really busy. Love to get this into our clown project. <clears throat> I don't know about that. What do you mean? <laughs> plans. What plans? Talk to me, Ben. What's going on? Um, the the Lori Enchi banana, maybe, or I want to get Lori into it. It's a beautiful snake, but why the green gloves? Why not? <laughs> uh, we're having different gloves on because we're in our quarantine room. So we want to make sure that we're treating these snakes in a way that is not going to cross contaminate until we verify that everything's nice and healthy, which we don't have any reason to believe that they aren't, but it's just good precaution. So we changed the color of the gloves just to remember which room we're in. Yes, that is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Here's another little beauty we picked up. Uh, this is a candy hip pied. And it's awesome. It's a male. And uh, candy is a lot like lavender albino. But I find that the yellows and the lavenders are way more intense in the pure candy stuff. Um, fun fact about candy is it's compatible with albino. So if you put a het candy to a het albino, you can make a visual snake. It's called a candino. And it sort of looks like this a little bit, except the colors aren't as intense. So that is why we've chosen to stay with the pure candy stuff. And we're not going to be doing uh, albino crosses because we want the coloration to stay ridiculous like this. I hope the camera is picking up how deep the purples are. So hopefully we'll make some candy pies in the next couple of years. <laughs> Another animal or pair of animals that we actually got is this file snake from Matthew Most. This is uh, Mahalia cross eye. It is a beautiful file snake from South Africa. It's got super ridged scales that when it runs through your hand, guess what it feels like? A file. It's a very beautiful animal. Not a lot of them, especially captive born. They come in a lot as imports. And uh, I would recommend if you want one of these and have access to Captive born, get one, but stay away from the imports because they can be a little difficult to set up and get to thrive. Uh, you'll get a lot of losses from them being overloaded with parasites and things of that nature. But these are very awesome snakes, very unique looking. They get fairly long, like five, six foot, somewhere around that range. Super nice purple undertones. Just really cool looking. You can be able to like pick up any of the details. Mm hmm That's cool. If it when it holds still a bit. Love these things. Super fun. We also picked up a pair of these beautiful Vietnamese Mandarin rat snakes, also from Matthew Most. I think if you guys have been watching our videos for a while, you'll know that we really like working with some cool colubrids as well as pythons. And these things are just striking with the beautiful blacks with the yellow diamonds on the ridge. Very awesome looking animals. It's actually one of Ben's favorite species. They have red undertones. Very cool. Look at that face. That's awesome. So next in line, we picked up a lot of females this year for some projects that we we're interested in. This is a blackhead cinnamon orange dream calico female. Man, does she look cool. Look at that. 
sides are ridiculous. It's got this orange peach highlighting. So awesome. We call this the dumpster fire. This is the dumpster fire. <laughs> Add a couple jeans and you got a campfire plus a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, this is a. Uh... We're calling it right now, dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> we did get this from Dave from RL Exotics. Dave Levinson. Saw this thing on the table at Tinley. I wasn't planning on buying anything else. I saw it, I was like, I gotta buy that. So, here it is. We got it. And it's gonna go great on our clown project. <laughs> Ken's gonna punch me in the face. So the last one we're gonna show you for today is this beautiful Enchi Mojave Hidden Gene Woma Het Clown Female. And man, is she beautiful. This will make some pretty interesting clown combos, I think. Especially with some of the other stuff we got going on that we haven't told you about. <laughs> but we'll tell you about soon enough. Very cool. We just finished up doing our little talk on mites and now we're wrapping up over here in the quarantine room. So the regular room is off limits for the rest of the night because we're following quarantine practices. So we just wanted to let you know that if you do uh, end up having any issues with the health of your animal, be it mites or anything else, we are here to help if you need any advice or have questions or whatever, please feel free to get a hold of us, a private message, you can text Ben, um, put it in the comments if you're comfortable with that, but we're here to help, uh, no judgment, and just make sure you take care of your animals. See you next time. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Make sure you like our videos and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Hit the bell icon. Hit the bell icon. Hit the bell icon. All right, guys, today we're gonna uh, touch on a, no, I don't wanna say that. I don't wanna double touch, touchy subject. Touch on a touchy subject. Touch on a touchy touch. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about mites. And uh, nobody wants to talk about mites, but it's important. So we're going to talk to you about how to take care of mites, not how to breed them, but how to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> so unprofessional. <laughs> take your calcium, dummy. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you <laughs> mites. <laughs> <laughs> how to get rid of them. All right, so a little gold. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Today on RB Reptiles presents mites. How to get rid of them. And new animals we bought. Hold still. It's alright. Come here. Come here. Alright, I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pick you up <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna sit in this chair nice and easy nice and easy look at this dog whisperer dog whisperer dog whisperer <laughs> my what big eyes you have <laughs> all right don't look so scared in West Philadelphia born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my okay <clears throat> puppy Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> puppers, puppers, look at me, look at me. You're not looking at me. <laughs> Puppy, you love me. All right, make sure you like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Is this, is, this, is, this, is this as awkward as it feels? It's a little awkward. Good girl. Hey, take a puppy. Oh.
What is it? <laughs> All right, you're done. <laughs>